All right, welcome back. Now we get to go to Tears Temple, and we actually get to go to Yonheim now. So let's see if we can do it. All right, uh, it's kind of far. It's fine, I guess. Namir, why did you say Tear felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the giant kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, and the victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. Yeah. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer. A super weapon in hands they did not trust, but they trusted Tyr. Tyr yeah. always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated uh -huh. Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. Why is Odin so mean? magic, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated. Odin visited its fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared. No giants could be found in Midgard. And no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Mjolnir. Thanks for that story. Really nice. Alright. Alright, time to go to the room to the room. To the to the realm travel room. Alright. Be quiet, Chris. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things work according to the plan, go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way! Please work. There's it. There it is. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! I agree. Now, boy! Oh, it actually worked this time. We must be close. Well, what are we waiting for? I think it's far. We will see. There it is. Jotunheim. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone wants to fight... My lady sips soft, perfect sloshers. I don't know what that You're means. Done, done did it. Sorry. We had to had see to this. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. <gasps> I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Huh. Ready. Come. Come.
Now we're going to the land of the giants. Kind of a long way. We are getting there eventually. Come on, right there. We're finally gonna get our ashes. Oh, here it is. Jonheim. Look! We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. Good job, Kratos. It's, a, it's been a long journey. Wait, what? I have nothing more to hide. Well, you actually do, actually. He, you don't talk to him about your dead family. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. <gasps> oh, he's letting him carry her. Wow, what development F from both of them. Had you drop the ashes, that'd be funny. All right, so I'm guessing those are giants. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Yep. Look at those giants. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Yeah. Odin and Thor. Ruining everything for everybody. Yep, two were the worst baddies in this universe. Nothing. Ooh, lore. Dream of Midgard. Huh. Who's the guardian? I don't know. I Maybe. Feel that, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why did Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Maybe Tyr was the guardian. Where is Tyr, anyways? Is he dead or is he alive? No idea. Wait! Father! Something's happening! Yeah. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. Giants? She knew giants? I guess so. That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. Oh, okay. But they, now, they saw the future. That's how. 
just happened? Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. Wow. The stone mason. They really knew everything. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But what does it all mean? That no idea. Is not the only parent with secrets. What? What do you mean? You didn't know. She was a giant. What? Are you serious? I'm a giant. <gasps> you see, he's part giant? What the heck? Why didn't you tell us? Part giant, part god, part mortal. That's great. She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along. Wow. Not knowing she was only ashes. That's great. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. What is it? What's, what are you looking yes. at? Yes, we are. What the heck? Is that Kratos? Is the trees gonna kill Kratos? Oh, I gotta look at that. Okay. I... Oh, I can't. All I can see is this. A bunch of wolves following Atreus. Okay. That's pretty cool. Look. It's mothers. Huh? She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. It was her? And she was always with us. Watching over us. That's weird. Leading us home. Let's finish it. Wait, so all these marks from, from the mom? How did she get, like, into Tears Temple? How did she do all this? Makes no sense. Alright. We finally made it to the peak of all the realms. We're finally doing it. And we did so much more. We helped spirits. We unlocked Fjonheim. Though that's not good, though, because Odin and Thor cannot access it. And they might try to do something with it. But we still accomplished our goal in the end. Okay. Wait, what? Those are gi wait, dead giants. How did they die? No, they're all dead. Goodbye, Fay. I love you, Mom. The giants. 
They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. Not all the giants. World Serpent's still alive. Uh, Surtur the Fire God is still in Muspelheim. So, I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. Yeah. Right. Don't forget that. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? What? Loki? Loki. He's Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. Him? She must have I mean, that to her people. That, uh, that explains why he's a brat. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Explains why he's a brat, and he was so consumed with power at one point. Well, we finally did the mother's ashes. Guess it all makes sense now. Why she wanna end up here? We gotta go back to Tree's temple. Did she know it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. Well, Why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained Oops. from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. I know. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day really? came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. Well, I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. <laughs> we missed it. Of course you did. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. All right, so a friend of mine told me to go back to the house at the end of everything. Maybe helping people so we're gonna do that. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Yeah, so I gotta go back to the ha house, draw home, and supposedly there's supposed to be like this something else whenever I go there. So let's do that. Am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Yeah, thanks. Complete dwarven favors, free dragons, travel to this point of time, to feel as you're whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, thanks. All right, we're going to Midgard. Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's become something else. What? The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? Ragnarok? Aye. 
Snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. Wait, but did, it did technically, right? Because Loki's my son, so... Whatever. I'm telling you, it's Fimble Winter. I can feel it in my scrotum. This is the big one. Stop saying that. What? Oh, you're making me very nervous. We're bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. What? It's the end times. Ah. Uh -huh. Dare you make me the voice of reason. Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble Winter's upon us, boys. Fimble Winter. The winter end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah. We... We heard. <laughs> if you're headed home, try to keep moving. And also, to not die. <laughs> or if you're not headed home, same advice. <laughs> All right, we're going to head to the house. All right, where's the house? Fafnir store. No, it's not that far, right? Wildwood's Edge. Home. Oh, man. The tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. <laughs> Mir's gonna fight. He's so desperate to find a way into Jotunheim anyway. He's convinced the giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies, after all. And it's their, their army, army that's, that's supposed to do him in in the end. end. But more than well, that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. prophecy. He wants he to wants know to what know they what know and know. see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah, remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hanged. Uh, I don't want to know. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Indeed. It's a right improvement over having tree bark, tree bark in your tadger. Uh, yeah. Alright, we're I'm back. To rest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep, sleep through winter. winter. Wait, oh, we're gonna rest? Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead, ahead of you. We're gonna go to sleep? Okay. Wait, did I sleep on top of him? My mirror's on my butt. He's sleep I'm sleeping on him. Years later. Whoa, time skip. The ball. He doesn't look he doesn't look any different. Oh crap, what's happening? Who are you? Uh oh. Who are you? It's Thor. Here we. Oh, can't wait for Ragnarok. Cannot wait for God of War Ragnarok. Welp. That was it. Present day. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble Winter was ending, and Thor came for us here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. All right, looks like that's the end of God of War. I'm going to stop the video soon, but I want to tell you guys, it's been a journey. Literally. I 
got the mother's, mother's ashes, and we got a glimpse of what Thor could do to us with all that lightning. So, God of War Ragnarok is coming out sometime this year, and I think I'm going to record that so you can see my genuine reaction to everything. All right. I I'm I might record an, another game soon, so keep an open mind whenever you look at my channel. All right, have a good day everyone. I'll see you later.